Hello, my name is Dr. David Lanning, and I'm a professor of surgery and pediatrics, as well as a co-surgeon-in-chief at the Children's Hospital of Richmond at Virginia Commonwealth University. Today, I'm going to be talking about a condition known as central precocious puberty, or CPP, and discussing a prescription medicine for CPP that I've been using in my practice for more than 10 years. This treatment is an implant that is placed underneath the skin in a minimally invasive surgical procedure that may be performed in the office, and in some cases, using only local anesthetic. To get started, let's talk a little bit about CPP. In the simplest of terms, central precocious puberty is puberty that starts too early. In girls, that would be before the age of eight, while in boys, it would be before the age of nine. CPP occurs in approximately one out of every five to 10,000 children in the United States. Currently, we do not know what causes CPP, but in rare cases, the onset of CPP could be related to an underlying medical condition. Your child's doctor should do a thorough examination to make sure your child has CPP before beginning any treatment. One treatment that I've used in my practice is Ciprelin LA, which has been used to treat appropriate patients with CPP in the United States for more than 10 years, and thousands of children in the United States have been treated with it. As I mentioned earlier, I have been using Ciprelin LA to treat CPP for more than 10 years. In that time, I have performed more than 400 implant procedures, most of which have taken place in an examination room or surgical center. This procedure involves a minimally invasive small incision in the inside of the upper arm, and in my experience, the actual insertion of the implant takes about five minutes, with the entire process lasting 15 to 20 minutes. Talk to your doctor about timing as it may vary. Once yearly, Ciprelin LA is the first and only FDA-approved 12-month implant for the treatment of children with CPP. This means that children prescribed Ciprelin LA may be required to undergo the following minimally invasive procedure once a year as appropriate until puberty is supposed to normally occur. The Ciprelin LA implant looks like a small, thin, flexible tube. The implant is designed to deliver a continuous steady flow of a medicine called hysterelin acetate, which suppresses the hormones that cause puberty to begin. It is important to note that your child's doctor should do tests to make sure your child has CPP before treating with Ciprelin LA. The Ciprelin LA implant lasts for 12 months, after which it must be removed. The doctor may insert a new Ciprelin LA implant at this time to continue treatment if appropriate. The Ciprelin LA implant is placed under the skin on the inside of the upper arm in this area. First that part of your child's arm will be cleaned and numbed, then a small incision or cut will be made, after which the Ciprelin LA implant will be placed under the skin. The cut may be closed with stitches or surgical strips and covered with a pressure bandage. At the start of the procedure, your child should be on his or her back with their least used arm either bent or extended for the doctor to place the implant. The doctor may use pillows under your child's arm to help keep the arm positioned. The doctor will select a location which is typically on the inside of the upper arm. The doctor will select a side about halfway between the shoulder and the elbow and in line with the crease between the biceps and triceps. The doctor will mark the area he has selected, swab the area with antiseptic, and then will lay a sterile cloth over your child's arm. At this point, the doctor will administer the anesthetic that he or she has selected. This may include local anesthesia, conscious sedation, or general anesthesia. But in my experience, many patients don't need general anesthetic and the procedure can be completed with local anesthesia only and in some cases with conscious sedation as well. Of course, the method of anesthesia is at the discretion of your child's doctor and you should have a discussion in regard to what they recommend based on the needs of your child. If local anesthesia is selected, your child's doctor will inject it into the skin around the planned insertion area. After the pinch of this injection, the area will become numb from the anesthetic. Your child's doctor will use a special insertion tool to place the Ciprelin LA implant under the skin. He or she will then insert the implant into the insertion tool. Once the area is numb, your child's doctor will make a small cut. There may be minor bleeding. Your child's doctor will use the insertion tool or a similar surgical tool to make a space under the skin for the Ciprelin LA implant. Then he or she will use the insertion tool to ease the implant under the skin. Once the Ciprelin LA implant is under the skin, your child's doctor will extract the insertion tool and then feel the implant through the skin to make sure it's in the appropriate place. Your child's doctor will apply pressure to the incision, close it with surgical strips or stitches, and then cover the area with a sterile gauze pad and secure it with a pressure bandage. 
Your child should keep the arm clean and dry and should not swim or bathe for 24 hours after receiving the Sprelet LA implant. The bandage can be removed after 24 hours. Do not remove any of the surgical strips. They will fall off on their own in a few days. Your child should avoid heavy play or exercise that uses the implanted arm for seven days. You and your child should routinely check the insertion site until the cut is healed. After the cut is healed, your child can go back to his or her normal activities. The doctor will give you complete instructions. Some people who had Suprelin LA implant placed in their arm have had the implant come through the skin. Call your child's doctor right away if the Suprelin LA implant comes through the skin. In fact, I always tell the parents of my patients, your child must have regular scheduled visits with your pediatric endocrinologist. The doctor will perform regular exams and blood tests to check for signs of puberty. Height and weight will be measured and x-rays of your child's hand and wrist may be taken to track bone growth. The most common side effects of Suprelin LA are skin reactions at the place where the implant is inserted. These reactions may include pain, redness, bruising, soreness, and swelling in and around the implant site. Call your child's doctor if your child has bleeding, redness, or severe pain where the implant was inserted. For children with CPP, Suprelin LA is designed to continuously deliver the medication for one full year. This means that your child may be required to undergo a similar minimally invasive surgical procedure once a year as appropriate until puberty is supposed to normally occur. The Suprelin LA implant is not biodegradable, meaning that after 12 months, the implant will need to be removed. Let's briefly discuss the removal process. The removal process is very similar to the insertion procedure that we discussed earlier. In this procedure, the doctor will locate the implant by pressing gently on the area around the previous incision site, apply antiseptic, choose the appropriate anesthesia, make a small incision, and then remove the implant. Sometimes the doctor will have to do a special test such as an ultrasound or CT scan or an MRI if the Suprelin LA implant is hard to find under your child's skin. In some cases, the implant may break during removal. If that should happen, multiple pieces should be recovered. The doctor will confirm that the entire implant has been removed. If your child needs to receive a new implant, that will happen during the same procedure after removing the old one. The doctor will decide if it can be inserted into the same location as a previous implant or if a new location needs to be chosen. In my experience, I use the same insertion site for the new implant. As discussed in the insertion procedure, the incision will be closed and bandaged. If your child has been diagnosed with CPP, know that you're not alone. Suprelin LA may help stop puberty until your child is the appropriate age. Let's review important safety information about Suprelin LA. What is Suprelin LA? Suprelin LA is an implanted gonadotropin releasing hormone, GNRH, medicine used for the treatment of children with central precocious puberty, CPP. It is not known if Suprelin LA is safe and effective in children under two years of age. Important safety information about Suprelin LA. Suprelin LA should not be taken if your child is allergic to gonadotropin releasing hormone, GNRH. GNRH agonist medicines, or any ingredients in the Suprelin LA implant, or is pregnant or becomes pregnant. Suprelin LA can cause birth defects or loss of the baby. If your child becomes pregnant, call your doctor. In the first week of treatment, Suprelin LA can cause an increase in some hormones. During this time, you may notice more signs of puberty in your child, including light vaginal bleeding and breast enlargement in girls. Within four weeks of treatment, you should see signs in your child that puberty is stopping. Some people have had implant breakage during the removal process. Some people who had Suprelin LA placed in their arm have had the implant come through the skin, extrusion. Call your child's doctor right away if the Suprelin LA implant comes through the skin. Some people taking GNRH agonists like Suprelin LA have had new or worsening mental, psychiatric problems, including depression. Mental, psychiatric problems may include emotional symptoms such as crying, irritability, restlessness, impatience, anger, and acting aggressive. Before your child receives Suprelin LA, tell the doctor if they have a history of mental problems. Call your child's doctor right away if your child has any new or worsening mental symptoms or problems while taking Suprelin LA. Some people taking GNRH agonists like Suprelin LA have had seizures. The risk of seizures may be higher in people who have a history of seizures, epilepsy, 
brain or brain vessel, cerebrovascular, problems or tumors, or who are taking a medicine that has been connected to seizures such as bupropion or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs. Seizures have also happened in people who have not had any of these problems. Before your child receives Suprelin LA, tell the doctor if they have a history of these problems, as well as all the medicines they take. Call your child's doctor right away if your child has a seizure while taking Suprelin LA. Increased pressure in the fluid around the brain can happen in children taking GnRH agonist medicines, including Suprelin LA. Call your child's doctor right away if your child has any of the following symptoms during treatment with Suprelin LA. Headache, eye problems, including blurred vision, double vision, and decreased eyesight. Eye pain, ringing in the ears, dizziness, nausea. Your child's doctor should do tests to make sure your child has CPP before treating with Suprelin LA. Suprelin LA lasts for 12 months. One implant will give the medicine for 12 months. After 12 months, Suprelin LA must be removed. The doctor may insert a new Suprelin LA at this time to continue treatment. Suprelin LA is placed under the skin of the inside of the upper arm. The doctor will numb the arm of your child, make a small cut, and then place Suprelin LA under the skin. The cut may be closed with stitches or surgical strips and covered with a pressure bandage. Your child should keep the arm clean and dry and should not swim or bathe for 24 hours after receiving the Suprelin LA implant. The bandage can be removed after 24 hours. Do not remove any surgical strips. They will fall off on their own in a few days. Your child should avoid heavy play or exercise that uses the implanted arm for seven days. You and your child should routinely check the insertion site until the cut is healed. After the cut has healed, your child can go back to his or her normal activities. The doctor will give you complete instructions. Keep all scheduled visits to the doctor. Your child's doctor will do regular exams and blood tests to check for signs of puberty. Sometimes the doctor will have to do special tests, such as ultrasound or MRI, if the Suprelin LA implant is difficult to find under your child's skin. The most common side effects of Suprelin LA are skin reactions at the place where the implant is inserted. These reactions may include pain, redness, bruising, soreness, and swelling in and around the implant site. Call your child's doctor if your child has bleeding, redness, or severe pain where the implant was inserted. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit MedWatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see full prescribing information, including medication guide.